Hello everyone, today we're doing a oil change for a 2011 Mercedes C300. From 2008 to 2014 Mercedes C-Class. So what we need is a oil filter, if you can see right there, and a full synthetic oil uh, funnel right here. And I'm not sure the name of this thing, we're just gonna, we're gonna need it for remove the filter cover uh, if you know the name just let me know in the comments and the most important thing is this little machine here so i'm gonna show you how to how to do it right here so first of all we take we take the dipstick where you measure the oil and then we grab see this little string here we're gonna slide it where that dipstick the oil dipstick is and we're gonna slide it right in it so make sure before you do this to warm up the truck a little bit so it's all the way down there for about five minutes or so so the oil consistency is a little bit um thin I guess so I have a uh, my buddy over here is gonna help me to do it so go ahead so pump that pump that up so that's what you have to do, just pump that up. There you go, see the oil right there? Not, not easy, go easy now, so that everybody can see. So if you can see the oil, keep going now, go ahead. So, and that's how you extract the oil. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see how the oil is coming right up. Okay, hold on buddy. Cause it's, it looks like it's getting full already. So we're gonna wait. So it's about five, five liters you said in there, five quarts. If you don't know how much oil you gotta put in there, if you don't know, um, this thing will tell you. So, so far we have, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, uh, six liters in there. Uh, it's kinda hard, to, let me see if I can spin this. There you go. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but we have six liters right up here. So we're gonna empty that. And for us to know how much that is, if you can see this bottle, I mean, in this can is have um, 4.73 liters on it. So we're gonna empty that and then we're gonna continue extracting the rest to see um, the total of it. So we emptied that already. So he's gonna continue pumping it. So we finished getting the rest of it. So we can calculate of how much oil we actually need so if it's full synthetic oil if you can see there it say protect up to uh, 10,000 miles in it I still don't have 10,000 miles in this in this uh, previous oil change but if you can see the oil is like pretty dark so if you can see right here this means he's not pulling that much oil out of there already so he just put in a little bit, which means it's getting pretty empty. So, but he'll do that. I'm gonna show you where is the um, oil filter is. The oil filter should be under this, which is to get this uh, removed. You just lift up, and there it is, right there. Okay. So it seems seems like we not even have like maybe like a quarter of liter down there. So it's about six liters they had in there. So we're gonna put exactly six liters and then we're gonna check if we need more or less. So now we're gonna remove this oil filter. On my case, last time I did it, I didn't tie it too much. So I'm actually able to do it one with my hand. But if you, um, if yours is real tight, get yourself one of these thingies I'm not sure, I don't know the name of this, but I guess it's oil filter remover. They have different kinds. I do have this this type. Some people might say it's not a good not a good one, but but it will do the trick. Um maybe you can get yourself it these different kinds. Just don't get the ones that look like pliers. Don't do that. Don't get them. Just get something like this. Or um the other ones that have like it's kinda like a plastic that goes right here. And with a ratchet you can do it so anyway this is where the filter is you 
can see right there so you easy don't don't make a mess like what I'm doing right now because I'm using the camera and this to get this out just wait let it drip a little bit and then you can get it out so after I open that up I pumped it a little bit so I can get the rest of the oil out that the filter had on it so by pumping it a couple more times you'll be able to get all the extra oil out of it so that, I don't know if you can hear it that would be the oil that the filter had in it now this is what you're gonna get inside the filter the actual filter and um, seals or o-rings or however they call them you can buy this filter on um, Amazon or on um, well at Walmart same thing with this you can get it on Amazon or Walmart I'm not getting sponsored or any of this neither that thingy so now we're gonna show you um, how to replace this filter so to replace this you, you just basically pull it out like that I'm gonna place it here for now and but you slide right in there like that and you find the the rings for this side Okay, maybe easy if I just if I just replace that first or if not it doesn't matter so you gotta replace this and that my tool for this so I'm gonna try to get it with the key like that just like that okay so you don't have to worry about this you replace it so but if I can do it with these keys you can do it with anything There it is, that's the one I gotta take the other one out. So this this is one and this is the other one, okay? So this is the two old ones I got here. Now to put the new ones on, you just basically slide them all. I'm gonna slide the top one first. If you can add a little oil, that'll be okay. And then the other one, I don't know if you can see. The first one you just put on the top and the other one you just go past that first one and keep rolling it. And this one I suggest to be gentle because this is the actually one that we're gonna need. So try not to break it. Just go one side at a time. And of course I don't have the right tools for that. But if you can see I'm doing it with my hands. Okay, there we go. And now the last one is this big one that I have over here, okay, which is right here. This on the back. Okay, it's kind of windy, so I'm gonna remove that and then I'm gonna put this on top, and we're good. So you can do it like this. Take it out. Put the other one right back. see try to use some gloves if you can if not use yourself like a rag to continue cleaning because it's kind of messy job and when you put this back on just go easy nice and easy go nice and easy 
person is is so the oven that we can have is perfectly set okay just like that there you go I just do it by hand that's good enough for me but you can tie it you know not not too tight but as long as it gets all the way down there like if you can see as long as it touch the metal part you're good so now we're gonna change we're gonna take the cup off so we can that's where we're gonna add the oil up you go up buddy there you go you just turn and go up and then we're gonna need the the little funnel here okay and we're gonna start with um five quarts first okay we're gonna start with five quarts okay i just finished putting the the first um first bottle which is, is five quarts i think on each so before you keep adding more you might want to use the the dipstick here to check the level and from this point on it's probably better just for you to uh, adding as you need it okay so and I'm, I'm low right now it's barely on it I don't know if you can see it so I'm gonna continue adding the rest so after checking uh, the oil the right oil in it you gotta put everything back the same way you got it out so you put this cap on you put this if you can see right there this one came off so don't worry about it if yours came out it's supposed to go right here so this metal this metal thing is right here sometimes they end up staying in there so what you do you take them off and you slide them back in there like that just like that and show you right here you just slide it just like that just like that and then this gotta go right there on each side and this little pin gotta go in this hole same thing in the opposite side right here so let me put it back on with my two hands and that's it that's all you have to do put everything back and you're done I'm gonna leave uh, some pictures of this thing and the things that you need so you can save some money while doing that and time that's the main thing time so this is like probably would took me it would take me like five minutes or something like that if I would not record so thanks for watching subscribe